student, I will be your biology teacher for today. And our topic for today's lesson is practical on ecological instruments. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify ecological specimens given, state the functions of ecological specimens given, describe the use of some of the ecological specimens, Title drawn specimens correctly, draw specimens instructed according to specification, that is measurement, label drawn specimens appropriately, write accurately the magnification of specimens drawn. Practical on ecological instruments. Students, recall the definition of ecology. That's correct. Ecology is the branch of biology which studies the interrelationships between living organisms and their environment. Ecology involves the use of some important instruments which you might be required to identify during your biology practical examination. In the event of such occurring, identify the following specimens. Specimen A is a quadrat. Specimen B is a meter rule. Specimen C is a thermometer. Specimen D is a sweep net. Specimen E is a wind vane. Specimen F is a rain gauge. Specimen G is a maximum and minimum thermometer. Specimen H is a wet and dry bulb hygrometer. Specimen I is a light meter, photometer. Specimen J is a barometer. Specimen K is a putter. Specimen L is an anemometer. What are the functions of the identified specimen? West African School Certificate Examination 2018-2019. Specimen A, quadrat is used for population studies or is used to determine the population of small organisms or small plants or slow crawling insects within the restricted area. Specimen B, meter rule, is used to measure distance or depth of water or length. Specimen C, thermometer, is used to measure temperature Specimen D, sweep net, is used to collect flying insects or a named flying insect. Example, butterfly, moth, etc. Specimen E, wind vane, is used to determine the direction of wind. Specimen F, rain gauge, is used to measure amount of rain or rainfall or precipitation. Pre specimen G, maximum and minimum thermometer, is used for recording the highest and lowest temperature of the day. Specimen H, wet and dry bulb hygrometer, is used to measure relative humidity of the atmosphere. Specimen I, light meter, photometer, is used to measure light intensity. Specimen J, barometer, is used to measure air pressure. Specimen K, putter, is used to collect tiny invertebrates from leaves or crevices. Specimen L, anemometer, is used to measure the speed of wind. Description of the use of some specimens. A, C, D, F, K, West African School Certificate Examination 2018-2019. Specimen A, quadrat. This is thrown randomly. Wherever the quadrat lands, the number of selected or targeted or determined species enclosed within the quadrat is counted. The number is recorded. 
This procedure is repeated several times or at least 10 times. Average number of species per throw or toss is calculated. The frequency or total number or density or percentage covered is then determined. We'll be back after the short break. You're welcome back students. We will continue from where we stopped. Frequency is the total number of times the determined species appeared in the number of plots covered by the quadrant. Total number is the total number of the determined species in all tosses, be it 10, 20, 50, etc. Density is determined using the formula Population density equals population size all over area of habitat. The percentage covered is the area or space covered or occupied by the determined species and it is expressed in percentage. Specimen C, thermometer. The bulb of the thermometer is suspended in the medium whose temperature is to be measured for about one to five minutes. The level of the mercury or liquid in the stem is read off or recorded. About three readings are recorded and the average found. Specimen D, sweep net. The habitat is chosen. The sweep net is held in the hand by the handle. It is swung in the air to catch organisms or insects. The swinging is repeated severally to catch more insects. The number and types of insects caught are trapped in the container. The trapped insects are counted and recorded. Specimen F, rain gauge. It is placed outside when rain is falling in an open area or area without vegetation not under a building, on an elevated platform, at least 8 centimeters above ground level to avoid rain splashes or runoff. After each rainfall, the amount of water collected in the measuring cylinder is noted and recorded over a period of time. Amount of rainfall is calculated using the formula Rainfall in centimeters squared all over time or period, which also equals capital letter D squared all over small letter D squared times small letter H, where capital letter D equals diameter of collecting cylinder, small letter D equals diameter of funnel mouth, and small letter H equals height of rainwater in cylinder. Specimen K, puta. The collecting tube is pointed to the organism to be caught when sighted, and the suction tube is placed in the mouth and sucked. The insect is drawn into the specimen tube or container. Aside the functions of the ecological specimens, you can be asked to draw diagrams of some of the ecological specimens. We shall consider how to draw the diagrams of two ecological specimens. One, the puta. Two, the sweep net. The puta, West African Senior School Certificate Examination 2017. Make a diagram 6 cm to 8 cm long of the puta and label fully. The first thing to note is the statement of the title clearly, which is Diagram of Puta or Drawing of Puta, which may be written above or below the diagram. Then place your ruler vertically on your answer sheet immediately below the title if written above. Let it be centrally placed to allow for labeling to the right or left of your sheet. Put a point at zero 
another point at 6 cm and yet another point at 8 cm with your well sharpened pencil. We'll be back after the short break. You're welcome back students. We will continue from where we stopped. Now, draw the putter and ensure it is drawn within the points from 0 cm to 8 cm. The diagram should not be less than 6 cm when measured and not be more than 8 cm when measured. After drawing, you label. Labeling is done horizontally and guidelines are ruled with ruler. Do not rule guidelines with your free hand and do not cross guidelines. Use double guidelines to show parts of the diagram you want to show in plural and single guideline to show part of diagram in singular. Do not write part of diagram in plural form when only one guideline is drawn from the diagram. Ensure you indicate on your diagram details peculiar to the specimen you are drawing. In case of the putter, the stopper or rubber bung with two openings should be shown. Two delivery tubes, one longer than the other, should be shown. Inner end of shorter delivery tube with mesh or gauze should also be shown. Ensure you use a well sharpened pencil, preferably HB, to draw clear lines, not woolly lines. Ensure you scale your diagram. If what you have drawn is twice the size of the specimen given, then the scale is times 2, written as multiplication sign and 2, preferably below the diagram. If your diagram is half the size of the specimen, the scale is multiplication sign and half. Sweep net. Make a well-labeled diagram 10 to 12 centimeters long of sweep net. West African Senior School Certificate Examination 2019. Write the title, preferably at the top of your answer sheet. Use the ruler to note 0 0.0 centimeter, 0.10 centimeters, and 0.12 centimeters. This time around, horizontally due to the nature of the specimen, starting from the left side of your answer sheet. Or you could still draw vertically if you are more comfortable doing so at the center of your answer sheet. Draw the sweep net within the points noted. Remember your drawing should not be less than 10 centimeters when measured and should not be more than 12 centimeters. Label fully. Ensure the guidelines are horizontal and ruled with ruler. Show the following details on your diagram to ensure you have properly drawn a sweep net. Round or oval or oblong mouth for net. Long handle. Remember to scale your diagram. Indicate the scale below the diagram to determine the scale or magnification. Use the equation length of specimen drawn all over length of real specimen. Taking the sweep net for example, if the real length of the sweep net is 80 centimeters and you have drawn a sweep net of 10 centimeters, then your scale or magnification will be 10 centimeters all over 80 centimeters, which equals 1 all over 8. So scale or magnification will be indicated as multiplication sign and 1 all over 8 below the diagram. In summary, we learned identification of ecological specimens, functions, uses, and how to draw some ecological specimens. Students, 
Answer the following questions. Recall the definition of ecology. List 10 ecological instruments. What are the functions of the ecological instruments listed? Explain briefly how the following instruments are used. Rain gauge, thermometer. Make a large well-labeled diagram, six to eight centimeters long of a thermometer. For further studies, read the senior school certificate examination, past questions and answers for WAHEC, SSC, NECO, and GCE biology. Senior secondary certificate, practical biology by S.O. Iluiji. Bye-bye, students.